finish very strong. <laughs> I got some um, some good news and some bad news today. One of the good news is, is one of the good news is, is I love guitar. <laughs> I haven't done a guitar intro in a while. Anyways, I'll start it off with some of the sadder news. <sighs> Drew is is not with us today, and I know a lot of you guys love him, and I'm sure he probably appreciates the hell out of you guys. <sighs> he totaled his FRS. <laughs> he wasn't doing anything stupid. We, it was like, you guys remember the rain we were getting a couple months ago when my shop was flooding? It was raining like that a few days ago. And we're talking about like little California pitter-patter rains where the road's a little bit wet. There was a flood on the road. He uh, hydroplaned, unfortunately. The car is definitely totaled. I did end up buying his TC 105 ends because they're some of my favorite wheels of all time. And I bought his Brembos from the car to try and help him out to get, you know, some stuff going. So, might be able to use the Brembo conversion for something cool in the shop, uh, but I can definitely use the TC 105Ns on the Subaru. My heart goes out to you, Drew. I feel so bad, I feel so bad. But, good news is, oh, I gotta tell you about, guys about my cursed Supra. Good news is, we got some crazy stuff to show you guys today. Guys, the Supra is, was, is cursed. Let me show you this footage. I was chilling last week, or in the, during the weekend. This car's battery has been connected since we started the car, since Drew was messing with it. Haven't touched it. Out of nowhere, <laughs> this happens. I was so scared. Jose is coming today. We're going to be finishing up and carboning on the trunk. Let me give you guys a little update on it. So this is the wooden the thing that we made basically. It's epoxied and body, it's like body works now. It's a nice, black, smooth, flat surface for the carbon fiber, so we're gonna be doing that today. Jose is also, <laughs> got some cool stuff happening. He took my rear seats and he's got an upholstery guy. He took the top tray that covers my speakers and he's going to be carbon fibering that. And he's taking my, sorry, I got kind of sidetracked, but he took my rear seats, he's reupholstering them. We're gonna be doing brid inserts and the same purple that a brid that's on the front seat. So this car's gonna be so cool. It's already cool, but it's just getting better every day. <clears throat> Let's move this cursed vehicle. <clears throat> oh my God, this car is so heavy. Whew. Whew. I'll have an update for you guys on this soon. We're gonna take the Ah, whatever. I got a new engine for it. Let's get going. I'm gonna bring the AMG in here, and I'm gonna show you probably the coolest set of wheels I've ever had built. I'm gonna test fit them, and I'm going to um, just give away <laughs> everything that I'm about to do, and it's going to be so badass. And yes, I did say giveaway. No, we're not giving away this car. That won't happen. We've got some insanely rad stuff coming for this giveaway. Just be prepared. You guys are just gonna have to keep watching the vlogs. How'd a freaking tumbleweed get in here, bro? You serious? Are you freaking, what even is this? And in full disclosure, like always, anybody associated with the video, telling you my relationship with them, we're gonna be opening up my very own set of Heritage wheels. Heritage is a big, it's a big sponsor of uh, the channel. They're, uh, they're under 3Piece US. 3Piece US is their, their parent company. They, they custom make their faces and they're very high quality wheels. And I will talk, I wanna talk a little bit about something about 3Piece US. Um, a lot of you guys might wanna hear this. Some of you guys might not. And also today we're gonna be showcasing some Griot's Garage products. They're a big sponsor of the channel and they help us out a ton. You guys can save 10% on Griot's Garage with the code I've got for you there. Oh, and then also uh, Carbon Air. <laughs> um, to be completely honest, I never anticipated going this ham on this car, but I love this car a lot more than I thought I would. I have now owned this car almost as long as I owned my R35, and this car is 10 times as fun and 10 times cooler than the R35. I know that hurts a lot of you guys' soul, but you don't own one and you don't know, but they are incredible vehicles. Oh, 
God, it looks so good. Okay, hold on, sorry. We had a little bit of an issue. So I, this car currently has a prior design body kit and Delira did a bunch of carbon fiber on it, which by the way, I will be selling the skirts, the front lip, which is a little scratched up, um, and then the wing. I've had a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth with this body kit. We never got reimbursed, and I'm not pointing fingers at anybody, but I just, we, Jose never got paid. It was just kind of an annoying thing. So I've had a sour taste in my mouth about this. I actually ended up committing full send shortly after uh, receiving this kit for a few reasons. For one, the wheel industry right now is really difficult. So I actually know the owner of 3 Piece US. He's a good friend of mine. He's a really, really cool dude. Right now, there's a huge aluminum shortage. These wheels were backed up. Where did I get this body kit? I ordered these three-piece wheels um, from Heritage probably eight or nine months ago. And what I want to say is a lot of people think that <clears throat> these wheel companies give special treatment to, uh, to the people that they support, you know, which obviously that would make sense, and they, they probably do, and they, they should, I mean. But I've been waiting this long for my set of wheels, almost every set of wheels I have made right now takes anywhere from three to 10 plus months. And so a lot of people get really butthurt about companies. Oh, there's a spider on my camera. It's a jumper. Oh, he's about to crawl. He's about, he's looking at me. He's literally above the lens right now. Buddy, I don't wanna hurt you. He's crawling on the lens. He's doing it. Guys, there is a spider on my lens right now. Throw away the whole camera or Drop it and scream and run and hide. He just cast a web. He's making a freaking web on my. Okay, bro. Get off of here. You trying to bite the paper, you idiot? There we go. He's right there. Now he's on the floor. A lot of people get really mad about the long wait times and stuff. There's a big aluminum shortage right now. And um, most companies, uh, pretty much all the companies you buy wheels from get their aluminum from the same source, whether they claim to make them in house or not. That's, I'm not saying that about anybody in particular. Sometimes it actually is true they make them. But anyway, huge aluminum shortage. So I wanna clarify that. Now, there's some shoddy stuff that can happen with wheel stuff. And what I will tell you about what I know from the industry, I gotta get the spider web off now. Uh, those people usually are fired if there's any shady business going on. I've seen it happen and um, it's usually dealt with, but I know, I know people, it's, people are gonna say that I have no credibility because you know, I've worked with, with these guys in the past and I'm an influencer, whatever you wanna say. Um, I've worked with them prior to being an influencer and I haven't had a bad experience. I have had bad experiences with certain companies and I now no longer work with said companies that I don't have good experiences with anymore. So anyways, without wasting any more time, guys, these, uh, these wheels are probably the, the nicest work of art ever. And they might not be everybody's taste, but I don't care, you can build your own wheels. All right, boys. These wheels um, were actually going to be originally built for this body kit. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna not say too much. Uh, let's just say we respect these a little more aggressive. Oh, that was on my toe. Oh. For the record, guys, if you get huge boxes like this, don't throw them away because they're worth like a hundred dollars. Oh, another spider! God dang it! Okay, he just tried to bite the paper. Dog, I'm just moving you. Spiders are good, they eat bugs. When your $4,000 stickers come with your free car parts. As you guys can see, one box is significantly taller than the other, so we're gonna unbox the big boy. One-handed unboxing sesh. Jaren, try and do this, right here. Ooh, look at that. Yo, it smells like somebody farted in this box for real. They're not my signature. I didn't want to do that on this cart. This is, these are just, <laughs> Last second, I decided to do gold hardware. I was gonna do all black. I was even gonna do a black center cap, 
But I'm gonna be rewrapping this car and it's gonna be wild. Um, rhymes with Schmerpel. These are Heritage Ebisu. They're actually the same wheels as the ones I'm running here, except these are not directional. So a lot of people say these are like Blitz knockoffs. I just say that they're uh, customizable, available Blitz 03s that don't cost a uh, down payment on a mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> but I really specifically like Heritage because they have, a, just like my signature wheel, you can do these in concave and or uh, directional. And directional looks really good on certain cars, I think. Not every car. I really like the way that Heritage does theirs. Now, I did do gold hardware. I did red in the middle. And uh, this is a, it's a big, it's a big wheel. It's a 21 inch. Uh, it's a step lip, so it's not a reverse lip. I like I like step lip on a lot of cars. You guys have noticed I actually a really big fan of step lip. I don't really like reverse lip on a lot of cars. It's probably like a what a four inch, five inch, four inch lip I think. Satin center, and uh, a gloss outer. And um, I'm 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 just particularly stoked about this. I really usually don't like black wheels, but with what I'm doing, I wanted these wheels to complement the car and not be the car. Let's go ahead, these are the rears. We'll mount these, test fit them, <laughs> and then um, we'll go from there. Peculiar. That looks like it was meant for not stock body. Perhaps I should show you what's really going on here. Tells me I'm probably not gonna fit in the garage with Victoria anymore. I think I'm gonna have to start parking in here. We had wheels built specifically for this body kit, which is uh, significantly wider than stock. Mad. I don't even remember how wide they are. I'm pretty sure they might be like they might be like 14 inches wide or something. Probably have to want something silly like 345s or something crazy like that. Here's the new fronts matched up with the old rears. No longer going to be running hub centric spacers to get that fender gap filled out. We're just going to be running a whole new kit. It's going to look cool because the body kit is actually modeled after the GT3 car. So it's not going to look like it's just absurd. You guys just saw how beautiful it looks, but uh, it's, 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 it's replicated after a GT3 car. It's got freaking exhausts coming through the bumper. It's just going to be so cool. I'm not the first one in the States to do this. Wish I was. There's one other person um, somewhere in California but uh, it looks freaking amazing and I'm so excited for it. Uh, look at that dish, bro. I could, I could probably put Gabriella in those dishes, dog. So definitely not the point of this video, but I will be selling everything except for the facelift. I do particularly like the prior design facelift. It looks really good. If the fitment for the carbon air kit is too far off because it's meant for a, it's, it's meant for the stock bumper. If it's too far off, um, that's not a big deal. I'll just probably buy an OE bumper and then I might sell the facelift too. So here we go. It's all on the wrong side. <laughs> or yeah, it's just the, actually no, the back is just reversed. But this gives you a little idea on how the front is gonna fit too. So that's the same size as the current rear. So the front is going to be, it looks like it's probably about a 40 millimeter or so wide body, maybe 50. It's just gonna look so, so aggressive. The back obviously I think is gonna be a little more, oh my God. And by the way guys, for the record, this is why I bought this car instead of a GTC or a GTR. Cause one, I knew I was gonna upgrade it and tune it anyways. My car is now currently as fast as a GTR. I knew I was gonna upgrade the suspension. I knew I was gonna do something wild to it. So that's why I bought a GTS instead. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Ah, it's crazy. I know there'll be a lot of purists that'll be a little butthurt about this, but it's okay, because one, it's my car, and two, uh, what I like about this kit is it's, it's still keeping the functionality of the car. Um, obviously, the Germans built this car to perfection. Honestly, this is one of the most 
breathtaking cars I've ever driven and owned, but you know, making it a little wider, making it a little showier, there's nothing wrong with that, boys. I think this so far is my favorite angle, and uh, the front fenders are gonna be something, it's just all a work of art, as you guys saw. We're about to get started on the carbon fiber trunk. I do wanna tell you guys a little bit about Griot's garage. It's summer, it's hot, and it's kinda like hard to wash, and I just wanna tell you guys that I have a discount code for you guys. They're a big support of the channel. I'm gonna show you guys a couple products I like to use as I'm buttoning this car back up. I want Jose to see it when he gets here, but as I'm buttoning this car back up, I'm gonna be cleaning it off because it's slightly overdue. Um, Griot's has an amazing selection of things from professional detailing like I am doing on a lot of these videos uh, just to, to quick washes, quick detailers, wheel cleaners, um, tons of options. One really great thing you guys can use is the ceramic speed shine. It's a speed shine, it's a quick detailer with a little bit of, with, uh, with an actual hydrophobic property in it. So when you use it on your car, you wipe it off and you actually get some hydrophobic protection. I'll let you shop for yourself, but they've got several different types of wheel cleaners. One that's a regular wheel cleaner, one that's a little more hardcore to get all those na uh, nasty brake dust off. And then honestly, they got the best glass cleaner in the game. Tire shine, tire cleaner, all that kind of stuff. Just check out Rio's Garage. I'm gonna clean this boy up, and then we'll start on this. Stockies are back on. You've seen me use Griots plenty, and they've spoken for themselves. The car is now cleaned off, super easy to use, so use my code there. And we've got our boy Jose Delira working on this, and I'll give you guys an update on this next video, but we are doing the carbon weave for the base of the trunk. This is gonna be so cool. You guys know how much I love carbon. This is gonna, <laughs> it's gonna get me real excited. I will give you guys another update on all we're doing there uh, here in a couple videos. We're gonna try and get the Skyline finished pretty soon. Like I told you though, the wheel stuff takes forever. My Cerberus are currently getting respect, and a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people think that we get this like special treatment, we're higher up in the queues than everybody else. It could take a, another couple months for me to just get lips, so um, we're, we're, we're gonna get everything else done, and then we might just have to let the let the thing just sit slammed, but I also do have the, I'll give you an update on anything, but we have the RB over here. Big thanks to Heritage Wheel. You guys can check them out, I'll have a link for you guys in the description. Also, Griot's Garage, and then, we don't have it yet, but Carbonair, it's gonna be a crazy body kit. I always give you guys daily advice. My advice for you guys today is I, uh, well, so in the past I've told you guys like, surround yourself by people that want you around as much as you want them around. It's also really important to surround yourself or be friends with the types of people that would mention you in a room full of possibilities. A lot of you guys might uh, be thinking twice right now like, hmm, hmm. I don't know if my friends would, uh, I think my friends would probably swoop up opportunities and just completely forget about me, so make sure People you spend your time around, and just your friends especially, would mention your name in a room full of important people with big possibilities. You guys have an amazing day. Make sure you subscribe, turn those notifications on, and have a great day. Peace. Hey, I got two videos for you guys. Make sure you watch them, subscribe. It does help me if you continue to watch the videos. Um, it's just like a YouTube thing. It's, it's weird, but hey, they're great videos anyways. Um, yeah, have a good day, bye.